everything. How did you get everything lined up? Darn it. Okay. Uh. Yay. Yo, what's going on? On everybody, hard crew keeping your bet. Wait. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hard crew keeping here back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be starting kind of a yearly series. So basically, what I'm going to do at the end of every year is talk about my mains and goals for the next year. Not talking about what I want to be as my main for the next year, because for one, who knows what cubes are going to come out, and two, who knows if I'm even going to like the other cubes. And I want you guys to comment down below or do this series on YouTube as well and comment down below the link to the video. But anyways, yeah. Um let's get straight on into the video. Starting off with two by two. Two by two is a really fun event for me. I really like two by two. So two by two, I currently mean the Rubik Scan RSC two by two. I have around 8 seconds on 2x2 two two using the Ortega method. To be honest, for one, not that good. Two, Ortega method is very repetitive and not that good anyways. Because I really want to get good at 2x2 two two one day. I also, I really, really want to learn all of the all of the EG1 and EG2 algorithms by the end of next year. And I really want to, and I'm definitely going to get a new cube. Pro I'm probably going to get the Tango. But I'm probably not going to be impressed by the by the quietness, even though I might be. I've heard it's a really quiet cube. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for 2x2. Two 3x3, two. Three three, I mean the Chi EMS 3x3, three three, although I am debating switching back to the YJ Yulong. The comparison video is coming up in a few days. But yeah. So... I average around 22-23 seconds on 3x3, three three. and I use a beginner CFOP. I use relatively efficient cross, and as I'm doing the cross, sometimes if it's a good scramble for the white cross, I can, I basically use intuitive F2L, even though I'm right now trying to learn at least a little bit more advanced F2L, trying to get over there, our TNR series. Monitor my, is monitoring my progress in 3x3. Three three. So yeah, and then after that, I use 2 LOL and full PLO. I really want, I'm definitely going to see if I can learn full OL by the end of next year. And I'm definitely going to want to get way more advanced in F2L. Now, and before switching up to 4x4, 5x5, etc. Another 3x3 three three event, OH. I really like OH as an event. If I could choose one event, I'd probably choose OH just because it's like a super interesting challenge. Kind of like I really like 5x5, five five, but whatever. Oh, I got a hair inside of my cube. But yeah, I may need. Oh yeah. I want to get 15 seconds by the end of next year. Okay, we're done with that. Oh, wait, no. I think it should be a lot better if I did. Yeah, that's better. Ah, okay. So, I have, a tr I have really bad finger tricks for OH, and that's why I average 20 seconds on, like, 22 seconds on 3x3, three three, but a minute slower on OH. A minute slower. Most people solve it, like, two and a half times slower. Not three and a half times slower. So yeah, I definitely want to learn more finger tricks for OH by the end of next year, and that should help bring me down to sub 1, which is, if not, sub 45. I also really want to learn all of the RU algorithms for uh, the M moves that I use, because, current, because one thing that's really been holding me back too is for like H, U, and Z permutations. I do a double move and then move it, I do like double moves and then move it back. Like, this is my one-handed H perm. That's my one-handed H perm when I know there's like RTU2 
or I think there's even an F move in it. I don't know. But yeah. I also plan on learning FMC next year. Now, moving on to 4x4. Right now, I'm mainly Rubik's Cube 4x4. Jeez, I sound like such a total noob. But anyways, right now, the only 4x4 I have is the Rubik's Band. It's a newer one. Because this thing is definitely not loose. Apparently, the older ones were actually a lot better. The older... The older, the older Rubik's band cubes were actually, apparent were apparently a lot better. I'm not quite sure. Ah, oh, yeah. But anyways, yeah, my PB using the G G1 four x four was about two minutes and twenty seconds. I definitely, I'm definitely getting a new four x four by the end. Well, I'm gonna order it from speakyourshop.com. The link's definitely not in the description by the end of the year. So yeah, I don't know exactly when I'm gonna get it. Because this whole corona... Okay, okay, you know what? I'm going to start talking about this almost self thing. But anyways, yeah. Um, I definitely want to get a better 4x4, which I'm definitely going to. I would have got... I would have ordered it, like, two weeks ago, but my parents were like, we'll wait till Christmas, see if Santa's nice, well, nice enough. Okay. That's just the thing my parents do. It's just fun to believe in sometimes. But yeah. Oh, it's only 10 a.m. I've been up for so long now. But yeah. I definitely want to get down to in between like 1.30 to 2 minutes. If not, I really want to get sub 1.30. Because I'm definitely going to be able to get to sub 2 using reduction. Yeah. Oh yeah, I use reduction, <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna learn the uh, method by the end next year. Moving a little bit more quickly onto five by five. Five by five is definitely an event that I would really that I would really enjoy. I don't know what it is. I just really like five by five. It's a super fun event, even though the cube I have is not that great. I'm planning on getting a new 5x5 by the end of the year, but I, I'm i not making it a priority like I am for the 4x4 or 2x2. But yeah, I am going to stick with the reduction method. Prob I'm definitely getting a new 5x5 sometime next year. Just not right after Christmas. And yeah. Um, and I, I average around eight minutes on four on five by five, but I, but to be fair, just look at this corner cutting. Alright, yeah, let's just do that T perm. That was a T perm with a lot of lockups, and even on like a two by two. Okay, so, yeah, um, oh wait, no, we're talking about 5 by 5 crap. Anyways, I definitely want to get down to, like, an average time, maybe, like, two minutes using reduction. I'm definitely, I'm planning on it. Yeah. Next up. Alright, so, yeah, um, this is my Supernova Yushin Little Magic 6x6. Oh, wait, no, we need to do four years ago, keeping it coded. Okay, th this is my Supernova Yuxin Little, okay, I'm not making fun of you. I think it's just super funny how you say Yushin that, how you used to say Yushin that way. I don't even, I don't even know if you still do, but if you, but it is pretty funny. But, yeah, I'm... 6x6 six six is definitely an event, well, once, I, once I'm able to learn it and actually memorize everything. 6x6 six six is definitely going to be an, an event that I'm going to invest a lot of my time in. I mean, 6x6 six six is just 
I just love turning it even though I don't know how to solve it. It's so fun just doing the centers. It might be because I don't really know how to solve it and it's it's more like an actual puzzle again when compared. I don't even know if I have it right in front of me. No, I don't. I pushed everything behind my computer. But yeah. I, w I don't know what I'm going to get for 6x6. Six six. Right now, just hopefully a decent... Anyways, moving on, now that we're done with the end by end events, Megaminx. Megaminx is an event that I will also really want to become interested, invested in. I'm already interested in Megaminx. But yeah, I am definitely planning on getting a better Mega Minx at the beginning of next year, and I will definitely do an unboxing on that because you can't have a YouTube channel without doing an unboxing. I mean, I have around eight minutes on Mega Minx, and I definitely want to get that down to sub five. Pyraminx, I use a G magnetic Pyraminx. I have around twenty seconds, and yeah, it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to turn because I just got done bringing in wood, and my fingers. Well, because I live in the woods, I don't live. I don't live far away. I don't live close to anybody. That's why I don't have. That's why I've never been to a competition. After almost after like two and a half years of keeping at this point. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, I'm definitely planning. I'm definitely going to get a cosmic MS Pyraminx or just some cosmic. I don't know. I've never had a cosmic cube before though. So yeah, and I definitely want to, and I'm going to learn a ton of methods. I'm going to learn L4E, Keyhole, Oka, I think it is. I'm going to learn a lot of tip-first methods. I'm going to learn V-first methods, a lot of that. And I'm definitely willing to get my times down. Is that like some thing, or is it like trick of the light? I really want to get my times down to sub-10. And if I can improve that, sub 5. And again, this is all by the end of 2021. Not this year. Can't get 5 seconds in like, what, 2 weeks or just... We have a week till Christmas. Just think about that. Moving on. Final event that I'm going to be talking about. Because that's the only other event that I really do. Skewb. Except I do have a couple other ones to talk about at the end. Skewb is, once again, another event that I am really interested in investing a lot of my time practicing Skewb. So, yeah, I definitely want to learn a lot of the advanced methods so I can see, like, which one is the best method to use. Kind of like what a lot of people do for Pyraminx. Oh, wait, no. Okay, that's a lot better. So, yeah, I really enjoy Skewb as an event. I average around 30 seconds on Skewb. I use this Chi Chi Changa or Chi Changa, Chi Chi Chang. I don't know, something on that. I, I got it off of the Chi Luxurious set back when I used to shop on Amazon, but whatever. So, yeah, even though this cube is serving me well, I'm getting another one. It is. It's either the Moyu. Doesn't it have a name for it? Doesn't that Moyu one have a, have a name for it? I know what, I think, how long, Aoyan, the, <laughs> I completely forgot about the Moi Aoyan skew, so yeah, with my incredible $144 in my wallet, if I can find it, which, I'm not showing you guys my wallet, I mean, I've got two of you out there, I can't trust that, I, I can't trust the two people watching at home, bruh. Oh crap! Oh okay. 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 Anyways, yeah. Where the? Oh okay. Anyways, that pretty much sums it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more content from me. Uh, turn on post notifications so that you get notified every single time that I post a brand new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. We can't find you have got to be kidding me. Oh, I just ran into my tripod. Great. I'm using that, or just some form of tripod when I get an actual camera. Oh, let's just get all this through.
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the post notifications so you guys, so that if you want to see more content, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace. Well, I normally do the peace sign, but no, peace.